Hello everyone, welcome back. Sekarang tuh mendung banget dan hujan gerimis. Oh my god, there's a lot of cats. I honestly I don't feel good today. My throat hurts so bad. Gua rasa gua nggak bisa survive satu bulan tanpa sakit tenggorokan deh. Gua nggak tahu kenapa. I think it's just because I eat everything like I eat everything. Sumpah sekarang tuh gerimis gua nggak tahu kalau misalnya kalian bisa ngedenger gua atau enggak. So, I'm on my way to McDonald's. Gua mau cobain menu baru mereka karena mereka ngeluarin pizza pie. Well, I'm not gonna put that much expectations on it, but like I'm really excited to try pizza pie. Oh, and also the burger that they have. Okay, so I'll see you guys the McDonald's. Days seem sometimes as if they'll never end. Sun takes its heels to taunt you, but after sunlit days, one thing stays the same. Rises the moon. Days fade into a watercolor blur. Memories swim and haunt you, but look into the lake, shimmering like Why does Mas Mas make the makes the most? Intense eye contact ever. Kan ada orang yang kalau misalnya ngeliat mata tuh nggak kuat tahan lama ngeliat mata, paham kan? Kadang ada orang yang cuman kalau ngomong sama orang lain tuh ngeliat mata, terus udahannya matanya kayak jelalatan gitu loh. Ada orang yang kalau ngeliat mata orang tuh kalau ngomong bener-bener ngeliat natap mata. Dan itu tuh adalah satu hal yang menurut gua that's kind of hot. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, we're here, then it's really cold right now. Like, it, it is cold. Okay, so now it's time for us to do a reveal. Damn. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. This is not sponsored by McDonald's, I hope, but it's not. So this is the Alfredo beef thingy. Look at the sauce and it's tasty. Oh my god, it will be a great dipping sauce untuk dimakan makan nachos. Okay, I'm gonna stop licking the sauce. So this is the lock. Jadi dia ada telurnya dan cheese dan beef of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is like 9.5 out of 10. Okay, but like I feel like you guys need to experience this at least once in your life. Wow, that was that was something. <laughs> okay, I'm excited to try another thing. Ooh, the coffee. Let's try it. It is hot coffee because I don't feel good right now. Ooh, it's beautiful. I don't think you guys can see it. Ew. Sekarang tuh sebenarnya gue lagi nungguin dosen gue untuk hubungin gue bimbingan. Jadi gue udah kelar di sprawl dan semprol. Kalau misalnya kalian nggak tahu di sprawl dan semprol itu apa, sebelum gue sidang skripsi, gue tuh diharuskan untuk melaksanakan di sprawl dan semprol. Gimana di sprawl itu adalah diskusi proposal dan semprol itu adalah seminar proposal. Jadi sebelum seminar skripsi, itu gue ada dua seminar dulu untuk menentukan apakah gue udah bisa seminar skripsi atau belum. Gue udah lolos tahap di sprawl dan semprol dan sekarang gue lagi masuk ke tahap bimbingan sebelum gue sidang skripsi. Nanti. Di kampus gue itu tuh diwajibkan untuk bimbingan skripsi sebanyak minimal 12 kali Baru lo boleh lanjut ke tahap skripsi Dan juga gue tuh diwajibkan untuk membuat jurnal terlebih dahulu Jadi gue harus nge-publish jurnal terlebih dahulu Terus bimbingan skripsi selama minimal 12 kali Baru setelah itu gue bisa uh, masuk daftarin sidang skripsi Nah gue tuh pengen banget kejar di tiga setengah tahun kan untuk lulus Tapi permasalahannya adalah submit jurnal itu tuh butuh makan waktu yang lama Dan gue baru banget tahu kayaknya ini juga peraturan baru deh untuk buat jurnal segala macem gue nggak tahu sih apakah ini peraturan baru atau enggak dan untuk ngesamin jurnal itu bukan suatu hal yang mudah jadi butuh makan waktu lama lagi karena kalau misalnya gue mau kejar tiga setengah tahun itu tuh maksimal gue udah harus kelar sidang semua tuh di bulan januari januari awal but i'm not sure about it but like 
I will definitely try my best. I'm still waiting for my dosen untuk ngabarin mau bimbingan kapan. Karena honestly dia tuh kalau misalnya ngabarin untuk bimbingan benar-benar mendadak banget. Pokoknya dimanapun dan kapanpun itu gue harus siap untuk bimbingan. Couples everywhere. I mean, I'm not mad about it. You know, when I'm hanging out by myself, I don't really pay attention to people around me, especially couples, young couples. Like, I don't really care about them. They wanna hold hands in front of me or kiss in front of me. Like, I don't really care. Like, it's, you know, like, you can do whatever you want. But, I don't know, like, sometimes... You know what? Never mind, I'm fine. <laughs> I feel like it's wrong for me to be outside on Sunday because tomorrow is Monday and I need to go to work. Like I need to wake up around 7 a.m. and then get ready to work. And honestly, it feels wrong to go out on Sunday, but people seem so happy today. There's a bunch of young couples and there's also a happy family. Like they're all eating in a car. They look like they're having so much fun. I feel like I could write a book about it. So. How are you guys doing? I really hope that you guys are doing well. Okay, so I have a friend. She's a she. She's a good friend of mine. Terus dia kan punya pacar kan. And I was like so happy for her. Karena setiap kali gua ngeliat insta storynya dia, dia tuh suka ngasih shout out ke cowoknya gitu loh di insta story setiap kali cowoknya ngebeliin barang ke dia. Jadi cowoknya tuh emang tipikal orang yang suka ngasih-ngasih barang ke ceweknya gitu loh. And I don't I don't see that that's a bad thing honestly. Karena probably it's his love language or I don't I don't really know about that but like I don't see that as a bad thing. Long story short, I really enjoyed watching her insta story because she looks so happy and it makes me happy. Jadi cowoknya tuh sering banget nge-spoil dia make barang-barang yang lagi dia pengen dan Bahkan dia nggak pengen tiba-tiba dikasih Terakhir yang gue lihat dia tuh uh, nge-insta story-in parfumnya BTS Kalau nggak salah Pokoknya gue nggak pernah nge-skip setiap kali dia nge-spam di insta story tuh gue bener nontonin Karena itu bener seru banget Kadang paling gue skip kalau misalnya barangnya tuh yang kayak merchandise-nya BTS atau apa Karena I don't really know about that stuff I just, I don't get it That shit's so freaking expensive dan gue juga nggak tahu kenapa banyak banget orang yang rela mati-matian I mean no hate I just it's kinda I just I don't get it kenapa merchandise-nya tuh merchandise kecil kayak okay for example light stick is that BTS or Blackpink? okay like for example postcard I don't know the picture of them you know dan itu mahal-mahal banget I just I don't get it you guys know that you can print it by yourself right? okay no hate you guys can do whatever you want I mean it's your own money but like I just I don't get it someone please let me know why is it so expensive and why there are so many people interested to buy the merch? Maksud gue kalau misalnya merchnya kayak hoodie dan harganya mahal Terus kayak perfume, harganya mahal, okay I get it But like light stick and a picture of them? Okay, somebody please let me know because I'm like I'm so confused Are you guys gonna get a free ticket concert from it? Or is that some type of undian yang... I don't know! Someone please let me know! I'm just, okay, I'm so sorry I don't know but like I really really want to know like the reason why y'all guys interested to buy one okay so anyway dia tuh dibeliin perfume BTS bunch of BTS merch I guess I forgot terus yang terakhir adalah dia dibeliin Jordan not only a pair of Jordan but she got Jordans I was like bro I need to work my ass off to get a pair of Jordan she she definitely, she definitely understood the assignment And her boyfriends, of course, follow the assignment too Gua bener-bener berharap semoga aja dia bisa bahagia kayak gitu terus Dan bisa langgeng-langgeng sama cowoknya Karena itu adalah sebuah entertainment untuk gua tonton <laughs> Karena she looks so happy and it makes me happy too She looks good in love, like she is But the problem is after After I watch her insta story kan Then I stop playing with my phone Something hits me I kind of feel like by myself like alone like I <laughs> it's not because I want boyfriend or I want someone to taking a good care of me or I want someone to buy me gifts or I want someone to spoil me no it's not like that like I'm totally fine by myself like I am well I am fine by myself in fact I don't think that I can handle a boy right now i don't think that i am ready for another relationship like i i just it's just confusing it i mean um 
okay listen during the day i'm like fine by myself okay but there's this specific time and a specific moment where i feel like i'm standing on the edge of the world by myself okay this is the world and this is me i was like standing at the edge of the world and all of the busy people that are down here bunch of busy people and I'm like the girl who's unseen but like at the same time I don't feel like I'm ready for a relationship I'm starting to learn more about myself and I'm still in a process of you know learning what I really want and I have bunch of goals bunch of things that I want to do by myself like I really enjoy doing bunch of things by myself even though I got anxious pretty easily but like I feel like I still can handle it it's really funny but like my love language act of service so my love language is some um, yeah so acts of service it's really funny I don't I don't know since when and why acts of service is my love language i feel like i'm doing all of the things by myself i never ask any help from someone i i rarely ask help from my friends i don't know why acts of service becoming my love language because i am stupid i always feel like i can do everything by myself i always feel like it's not necessary for me to ask for help i don't really know how to ask for help honestly but it's just because i'm stupid i mean just because you think you can do things by yourself just because you think that you can handle everything by yourself doesn't mean that you have to do every single thing by yourself it's getting dark right now Ooh, and i still have pizza pie mm -hmm. you that soon the autumn comes to darker 